My name is Malin, and in this video I want to talk about the winning fallacy. And this is a lesson that I learnt from playing football and soccer. Um, growing up, a lot of the kind of idea around playing football or any kind of sport, and even in school, was to kind of win, to get good grades, and you know, the person who scored the most, or the person who won the game, you know, those people were looked up to and praised. Those people were good, and the losers kind of were, were bad, and they felt bad, and after I kind of realized that something felt very off and weird about this and the more I got into it the more I kind of realized that these things don't really matter and that you know let losses can be seen in a different light and wins can be seen in a different light you know because when you win you get a boost of confidence and it feels nice and that sort of thing but you can be blind and you can kind of relax and not do anything you can like be like oh I won so I don't need to worry about things and when you lose, you kind of feel really bad and you're like kicking yourself and that sort of thing and you feel really bad about yourself. But it's not always a reflection of your self-esteem. It's like your skill, you didn't win that game, you know? And it can also be seen in this different light, like it can give you motivation to work on things so that you don't fail in the future. And if we compare this to reality in life, you know, there's no real winning. There's not really any winning in life, you know? Life just is. And at the end of the day, you know, who cares how many points you won by? Who cares how many women you had sex with? Who cares how much money you ended up with? You know, like, do these things really matter when you're on your deathbed, when you're about to die? And even when you die, you know, you'll lose all these things and it doesn't really matter. Like, it doesn't matter how much money you die with because, well, it does in a sense because it passes on to, you, to your kids if you have kids, but like... You lose all of these kind of things and, you know, I want to question this idea and say, you know, how could you even win in life? That's kind of delve into this, you know, how could you win in relationships? How could you win in your career? Is it being successful, getting the money that you want, being with someone who supports you in the way that you want, who is attractive and socially, you know, compatible and accepted by other people and kind of is, you know, society would say that they're very beautiful and that you're doing well, that kind of thing. And even if you had all of this, you know, what then? What's to live for after you have everything that you want, after you win life? You have the career you want, you have the money you want, you have the house you want, you have the kids you want, you have the everything that you want. Well, what do you do then? This all kind of seems backwards, very backwards, you know, because Life isn't really like that, you know, you can't really have everything going perfectly. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose, like in games. And sometime, and some days, you know, go better than others. Some days you feel great and you get things done and you feel great about it. Other days they feel like a real drag and you don't get quite what you done, what you want done. Such is life. But even if you could have it all good, would you want it that way? Would you want everything to go the way that you wanted it to? Everything would be predictable and, frankly, quite boring. <laughs> There's this story about God and Adam and Eve, and it says that, you know, Adam and Eve can, uh, tricked God, or they didn't do as God said, you know, they ate the forbidden fruit. But God was the one that created them and planted that disease in them to want to, to, want to break the law and that kind of thing. Because, you know, if God said, well, you guys, you must do this, and then they go and do that, God would be like, oh, well, that's terribly boring. So this part in ourselves, you know, this disease, this kind of feeling like a loser when we lose and wanting to win all the time, you know, that's only one part of the side. The other side is that we can lose and that's a possibility, you know. These are two sides of one thing. They couldn't be one without the other. You can't win without having a loss. You can't see the light if you haven't experienced the dark. These things contrast each other and they give each other meaning. Life is a process and we only really live, we only live in the present. And at the end of the day, you should just spend it how you want to spend, how you want to desire to spend it. You know, I, I would really recommend you reflect and question the ways you do things and see how you do things, see where that leads and see how you feel the next day and 
just try and work, work day by day and figure things out because you know at the end of the day you should just research and explore your life because this is your life to live and you shouldn't just do whatever's right or do what you think is right you should do the things for your life that you want to do that you're going to enjoy that bring fulfillment and satisfaction in your life and only you can find that because that's an internal sense that comes from you and nobody can take that away from you you know some days you're going to win some days you're going to lose and that's just a part of life thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video